Instead of constantly sharing your product images with intending customers or clients, only for them to say, I will get back to you after wasting your time, you can create your very own online store right from your mobile phone for free and without stress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your online store where customers can easily browse your products, place orders, and pay directly online. You will also be able to track your sales and manage your orders all from your mobile phone. Hello, beautiful people. Hope you are all doing great. It's another video, and I'm super excited to share this with you. Please do well to hit the like button, leave a comment below, and share with a friend. Let's get started. I'm going to add on to my browser. I'll be using Google Chrome, and then I search for this application, Bumper. The first thing is for us to create an account since you don't have an account yet. And here you're going to fill your details. You put in your name, your last name. I'm going to put my email address. The phone number. And how did you hear about Bumper? So you are going to choose the referral option and then you impute my referral code. My referral code is dollyv 24 I'm going to write it on the screen and I'm also going to put it in the description box below this video. And I'll click on agree to general terms of use. Okay, I would like to receive marketing, communication and business things from Bumper. That is actually optional. You can decide not to um, tick that. So you just click on continue. And on the next page, um, you'll be asked to enter a code that is sent to your email. So a code will be sent to your email. I'm going to impute the code that was sent to me. Okay, I have imputed the code that was sent to me. And then I'm going to click on continue. Okay, now you need to create a password. So you create a password yourself and then click on submit so you get this message saying congratulations you have successfully created your bumper account so click on continue and then you'll be asked to choose three important things you want to use bumper for the first one is to create a website and run sales so you choose that as a first option if you want to create invoices and receipts, choose the second option. Remember, you are only to choose three options, okay? So for you, you can say record customer details and send bulk SMS or emails to them. So I've chosen the three most important um, tasks I want to do on Bumper. If you like, you can choose record daily sales and expenses. So just go through the options we have here and choose the one that fits uh, you perfectly. So remember that why we are here is to create a website for our business so that has to be the first option now i'm going to click on continue and then you just um, fill in your business name for me i'll just say um, dolly b stores so put your own business name as i'm putting the business name it creates a url for me so if i like i can just go ahead and edit it let me just put that in small letters. So it will be wbstores.bumper.shop. How many orders do you get weekly? You can state it. And how many staff do you have? Maybe one to two. Just choose the option accordingly. And how many physical stores do you have? I do not have a physical store, so I'm choosing none. And then I click on continue. Store successfully um, updated. Now, one more thing, what subscription plan has features that suit your business? For now, you need to choose Bumper Starter. This is free and you have those features, business website and customization and all these. You can just go through them. You can even generate up to 1,000 invoices or receipts monthly. You can integrate um, Facebook, Pizel, Shibubu and Fex and that. So you have this as free. We have Bumper Pro. We have Bumper Pro and we also have Bumper Growth. But for now, for free, we go with the Bumper Starter. So we just select the plan. 
and then it says congratulations your store is ready and a website has been created for you now you're going to click on launch your website so you have an overview of your dashboard and the next step is you had your payment method so i'll choose hard bank details to receive payment and i'm going to fill in the necessary details here so choose your bank fill in your details your bank name then your account name your account number and you save and continue Okay, successfully created then. You need to enable online payment if you want to be receiving payments automatically. If you want your customers to place order from the website automatically, that's even the idea to automate things, okay? So now I'm going to just um, scroll down and you see allow customer to pay transaction charges. So whatever transaction charges this website will be charging you, you can enable this so that customers will be added to the customer's charges, okay? So now, I understand and accept the terms listed above for using Paystack because the payment gateway that Bumper uses is Paystack. So I'm going to enable that as well and then click on Connect Online Payment um, Gateway. Now, we have added our bank details. Move on to the next step, which is to complete store information. So I'm going to click on Complete Store Information. Here, I can impute the store logo. Okay, I'm going to upload the store logo. I'm going to upload my own store logo. So you upload your own store logo. Just select the image from my phone. Okay, I've added an image. And then, under the business sector, I'm going to choose maybe fashion or general. You can choose any category here that uh, resonates with what your store is all about. So I'm going to put a slogan for my store, which is actually optional now. Maybe your number one stop shopping mall. Then you can put the description if you like. So under the store currency, you choose either Nigerian Naira or US dollar. For me, I'll choose Nigerian Naira. And then the country, I'll put Nigeria, the states, I'll put Lagos. city i'll just put lagos mainland and then you can just save okay now the next step is to add the shipping prices on your website and then i'll click on that shipping title you can just say um within lagos And you put a fee, say 3,000 Naira. And then make shipping method visible on web checkout. Click on create shipping method. So you can do this for other um, shipping prices you want to include to this part. Now we'll go to add products to your store. So this is where you start adding product images to your store. So you had the product image. Okay, so I'll click on this um, drag and drop to add the product image. Okay, so I have some sample images here, which I uh, generated using AI. Okay, so you can just go ahead and use your, your image accordingly. Now, while the image is uploading, I'll just put the product name. You can just put um, beautiful lady ba ladies bag. Okay, so the product image has been uploaded. You can upload more images, maybe the back view of your products, another view of your product, you know. So I'll just go ahead. I think I have two views of this particular uh, product. Okay, while that uploads, I'll just have the product name. Beautiful... ladies bag so we can just put a short description of the products you can go ahead and describe the products right here brown 
moderate size back you can put the designer's name you know so just go ahead and fill all these details does this bag product have variation variations like it has different sizes uh, different colors you know so this does not have variation i'll just go ahead and put the price if it's ten thousand naira then the cost price you can put um let's say eight thousand naira i put the same ten thousand naira then discounted price i can say eight thousand five hundred okay and then stock quantity how many of these particular products do you have maybe 10 and then just scroll down and go ahead and click on hard products it's saying congratulations you have completed onboarding and your website is now ready to launch i'll click on launch website and it's asking me to upload a store banner i'll just go ahead and upload a store banner i have one sample that I um, designed for this um, tutorial. So I just go ahead and add the store banner. So that is uploaded. And then we click on save changes. We have a website ready and we have a link that has been created for us, dollybstores.bumper.shop. You can just go ahead and then click on share website link so you can have access to your link and save it somewhere. You can put this in your link in bow or wherever you want to save it for customers to have access you can put it in your whatsapp um, details if you're using the whatsapp business you can put it under your whatsapp details and all that and now go ahead and add more products you can add more products to your website on that you just click on this and click on products and click on add new products so I'll just go ahead and add other products right here Okay, can you remember I copied the link to my store earlier? So I'll just paste it right here so that you can see how it looks like from the view. So this is how your website is going to look like from your front view. Okay, so from here, you can uh, customers can click on any product and then, um, you know, hat to cart. You can just click on hat to cart and then proceed to check out to pay for this product, for example. When you click on proceed to check out, it will ask for the shipping details of the client. Fill in is our shipping details right here, and then choose any of the shipping method here as stated by you. Then click on proceed to check out. So, so we have the paystack checkout um, gateway opened, and then any of these methods can be used to pay for the product that pay with card, pay with bank, pay with yes, they'll pay with transfer. So when you click on pay with transfer, you can see to ask the client to transfer the social amount to this account. And once the transfer is made to be automatically updated on the website, then you can go ahead and ship the product to the customer based on details. You can just proceed by making calls out. You know, the customer will put his or her details right there. And then you close the sale. It is easier to go through this route. When an order is placed on the website, you receive a mail. You receive that notification in your email. As you can see, Tim Bopper, new customer order. Okay. And you have the details of what the customer is you know, requesting for. You can make calls to the customer. Remember the link I copied earlier is the link to my store. Okay. So that is where customers be able to see my product. So the same way it will apply to you. But for you to be able to see your back end, that is the number of sales you made, the uh, inventory, the, you know, how much you have made so far, the number of orders, how many products are remaining. You can just come here. You go to the same bumper app we started the process. Then you click on login to log in with your details. Because I am already logged in, you can see the overview. This is my dashboard. Okay, so from here, I'll be able to see what I, um, what I have sold so far. Like I have one order. You can check how your business is doing today this month this week You'll be able to see how many orders you've had um you know how many products you sold how many customers your website visits like you'll be able to see how many people are visiting your website from here you can see your total sales and all that offline sales that's based on what you have imputed on the system if you want to run sales you can run sales from here you can connect to your instagram you can you know integrate other social media platform on this part and when you are not available to sell or maybe you want to just stay off for a while you can just come here and put your website on maintenance mode okay 
I think um, I'm going to call it a day. You know, from here, you can just play around it. From here, you can see your analytics. You can view, you know, um, the total sales, transactions. You can view the products you have, the total stock available for each product. You can view your customers. You know, you can just select the date here to compare. Okay, just to compare. And if you feel that you can... Yeah, as time goes on, as your business grows, you can go ahead and, you know, update your version. You can subscribe for the pro version of this bumper so that you can have access to all features available on this website. Okay, you can see connected hubs right here. We have Paystack. This is what we use for payment. You can implement, you can integrate the Facebook pixel if you understand that part. You can connect to your Instagram just like I mentioned earlier. This is a very good website you know and i would like you to take advantage of this if you're a business owner if you do not have a website yet or you wouldn't want to spend so much to get a professional website but if you need a website i am available for you i design websites i mean fully automated website where you have your own link like if it is dollybstores.com uh, there won't be that dot bumper dot shop. I hope you understand. It's just be straight www.dollyb.com dot ng www dot just like www dot jumia dot com dot ng. So you can reach out to me. I'll put my WhatsApp link in the comment section. I'll also put that on the screen. Please help me like, help me share this video with your friends. Without any further ado, I'll say bye for now. I'll see you all in my next video.